often when we think about clematis, we think of these large vining plants that produce big flowers that sort of are like the starburst. And a lot of times those come in jewel tones. A lot of the clematis need to be supported in some way or they will ramble and kind of trail around. Now, a couple of years ago, I went up to a garden up north and there were two clematis that really captured my attention because of their unique appearance. This first one is Mrs. Robert Bryden. Um, and you can see here, it doesn't look like your traditional uh, clematis because it's got these small dainty flowers. It's got recurved petals, as you can see as they pop back, exposing the sunburst or the starburst of stamens. Now, this particular clematis has a kind of an interesting history because it got its name because it was discovered by Miss Elizabeth Prentice, um, gardener, Robert Bryden in the 1900s, early 1900s, and it first was made popular by the gardener, Robert Bryden, in the 1939 Horticulture Magazine. While the actual lineage of this plant is a little unknown, we do know that it is a bush-type clematis. Um, so it tends to have these large, more sturdier stems that really can support itself. Now it's a little bit of a slow start, so we've had this one growing here just for a couple of years um, and we let it kind of get established before we wanted to showcase it. And it's really just getting ready to pop into flower. So you can see it's going to be covered with all of these dainty sort of soft blue flowers. The structure um, or the stems itself do really well to support themselves, getting about six to eight feet tall. However, you can see we do have a trellis in there and they do appreciate a little bit of support, but for the most part, they're not like your traditional clematis that definitely needs some support. So again, this is Mrs. Robert Bryden. It will, for the most part, die back to the ground, um, but that's okay because this clematis does bloom on new wood. Now across the way we have another bush type clematis. Um, it is called Cassandra. It's only going to get three to four feet tall, so it's going to be a little bit smaller in statue and allow you to kind of fit it into more of a smaller garden setting. The nice thing about it is it also has kind of dainty flowers, but you'll notice that the petals on it are also recurved, but they're more of a hyacinth blue color. Um, in addition to that hyacinth look, you're also getting a sweet fragrance that's going to fill the air. Now both of these clematis, as I mentioned, are winter hardy. However, they are going to die back to the ground. And like all of our clematis, they tend to like their feet in the shade and their heads in the sun. So a nice layer of mulch is going to keep those roots a little bit cooler, allowing them to grow great in your garden. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Thank you.